Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brainbean. Thanks for joining me again for another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the WASD Keyboards V2 Custom Mechanical Keyboard. Now the cool thing about this is that you can pretty much customize this keyboard to be exactly the way that you like it. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. So to start the video off, we're going to just talk about how you can customize it and what options there are available. The V2 is available in many varieties from full 104 or 105 key, 10 keyless, and 61 key layout. From there you have the option of choosing one of any of the common switch types Cherry MX makes, including the MX Silent Switch. The only one they don't carry is the Cherry MX Speed and some of the more obscure switches. Next you can specify if you want them with or without O-rings installed. They offer two versions, a 0.2mm and a 0.4mm travel reduction. You can also choose your font layout and style, as well as what kind of OS key you want. Where the V2 really starts to get interesting is the custom painting. Looking at my keyboard, you can obviously see that I designed it with the style of my channel. WASD's custom printing allows you to literally put any image on the keyboard you can think of. Combine that with being able to put any combination of their 21 different color keycaps, and you can really make some nice two-tone effects like you see here. I chose to have my channel logo printed on the spacebar, and have my icon printed on the escape key. As you can see, the resolution on the printing is very sharp, the lines are nice and crisp, and I think that the printing on this thing came out fantastic. One concern I do have is that because these images are printed onto the keys, they're subject to wear down over time. However, the keys do appear to have a protective coating on them that should help the keys hold up for quite a while. Even though the custom aesthetics on the keyboard are the main selling point, I do want to go over the rest of the V2. Now included with this keyboard you also get a detachable USB cable. You also get a PS2 to USB adapter which is nice because since this keyboard doesn't use any extra software, you can free up a USB slot by plugging this directly into the PS2 port. You also get one of WSD Key's very nice signature wired keycap pullers which I think is one of the best keycap pullers out there and I highly recommend it. So you get a lot of really great extras with this keyboard. The construction of the WASD V2 feels nice and solid. The keyboard is comprised of a metal backplate that's housed in a plastic case. To give you a truly blank slate in which to customize, the casing itself is pretty plain, as are the LED indicators. Like the WASD code which I also reviewed, one of the coolest things about this keyboard is the dip switches. Located on the underside of the keyboard, the dip switches allow you to toggle between different keyboard layouts such as Colmac, Dvorak, and QWERTY. They also allow you to disable functions on the keyboard such as the Windows key for example. This is a great feature that gives you a lot of options on a single keyboard. Also on the underside of the keyboard are 6 rubberized pads and 2 rubberized extendable legs to ensure the keyboard stays firmly in place during use. The keyboard also features a detachable USB cable which can be routed through either the left, right or center of the keyboard. Like I mentioned before, the V2 uses Cherry MX switches. I chose to get mine in my favorite, the Cherry MX Brown. Here's a quick sound test of the Cherry MX Brown in the WASD V2. Okay, so let's talk about the negatives. As you've probably already noticed, the V2 is not a backlit keyboard. The big trade-off here is the customizable printed keycaps versus having backlighting. It's a bit of a compromise, and it's one that I can see most people probably having a pretty strong opinion about. I also would have liked to have seen the inclusion of a USB pass-through and an included wrist rest. Although I don't personally use them, it is something I take into consideration when making reviews. I think the V2 is very much a keyboard for typists, professionals, and keyboard enthusiasts. The ability to switch this keyboard to more ergonomic layouts and the plethora of premium Cherry MX switch options makes this a keyboard perfect for those applications. I definitely see this keyboard being more attractive for touch typists as well because the lack of backlighting would make typing in low light situations more difficult. Now that said, there's no reason that you can't use this keyboard for gaming as well. After all, Cherry MX switches are considered to be the industry standard for quality and are used in some of the best gaming keyboards out there. Add to that the fact that you can customize the look of this thing to reflect your favorite game, your in-game avatar, or just about anything that suits you. This makes the V2 a great option for anyone who wants a keyboard that's truly unique. The V2 retails for $150 for the full size, $145 for the 10 keyless, and $140 for the 61 key. So you're not really going to save very much money by getting a smaller keyboard, so I would suggest just go with the layout that you like the best. I think the price of the V2 is very fair when you consider the amount of work that goes into manufacturing a custom keyboard and all of the premium quality materials and switches. Well that's it for the video guys. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think about having a custom keyboard printed exactly to your liking, and if you think it's worth it for the $150 price point. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here because I've got a lot more content coming your way in the near future. You can also follow me on Twitter at BrainBeamGaming, and as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.